Good evening guys, what a load of carp. Welcome to my review video of the Sun Gas cartridge operated parabolic heater. In this review, I will go through the operation of the heater, my personal opinions on the pros and the cons. And these views are my views in my views only. They are purely just there to help you in your decision making if you're thinking about going across to a parabolic heater. As standard, it comes with a one year warranty. This is great. If anything goes wrong with it, you can send it back for a repair or a replacement. It also comes with clear and easy to follow instructions inside the box. The box itself is also sturdy, so it helps protect it against the elements when being sent through the post. The biggest pro for me about the parabolic heater is that in my fishing, I'm fishing all year round. Particularly in the winter when it's extra cold, you can wake up with a frost in the ground. I want to be comfortable. And with the parabolic heater, it offers that heat which I need in my session to keep me comfortable. There's nothing worse sitting there really cold and getting demotivated and wanting to go home. The parabolic heater has a control dial on the side which helps you manage the output of the heat. So you can have it on a low heat just to take the chill away or you can have it on a high heat if you want to warm up before you go to sleep. Another pro for the parabolic heater is that it's cheaper than a Coleman. You can pick up a parabolic heater for around £25. That is almost a third of the price of a brand new Coleman. Another pro with the parabolic heater is it is gas operated. I have always used a Coleman stove and that is always powered with unleaded fuel. And of course changing it over can be a bit of a nightmare if you run out and you've got to top it back up. It can be a bit messy. With the parabolic heater, the cartridges just screw on and off. You just take your cartridge, you attach it to the bottom and you just screw it on. And it goes on really simple. Just do it quite quickly so you don't let out any gas. You will just hear a little hiss just before you tighten it up. And jobs are good in. So the operation of the parabolic heater is fairly straightforward. On the side of the head, you have a little dial which is marked off and on, which is here. All you need to do is make sure you've got your lighter or matches in hand. Turn the dial from off to on and let the gas to escape and then ignite. Now, because I've got quite a light room here and it's hard to see when it's ignited, I'm going to turn the light off and I'm going to show you how this is done. Hopefully the camera picks it up and it comes out okay. So first of all, I'm going to release the gas. I'm going to flip the switch and I'm going to a light. Now that is lit. You can hear it bubbling. I'm going to turn the dial all the way up. Now inside the head there are some grids. I'm just going to wait for those to go red, which would indicate the parabolic heater is getting very hot. And already I can feel that it is letting off really good levels of heat. A little tip as well, the bigger cartridges, which you can see in the picture above, is the better cartridges to use. This little one I've only got here just for review purposes, but if you use the bigger ones, I tend to find that they are a lot better for operation on these parabolic heaters. So I think I've covered all the pros. I'm gonna go on to the cons now, while it's still going and burning. The cons, where it is gas operated, if you are on a very cold night, the gas cans tend to freeze. So I'd highly recommend getting a thermal fleece cover to go over the gas canisters, um, and that'll help prevent that. Um, the one thing I think this, this um, parabolic heater could improve on is if there was a little click button on the neck. So when, when you click it to release the gas, 
mm. it starts it up inst instantly rather than having to use a lighter. And the shape of the head is quite awkward as well, so it is a bit difficult to store. Um, I would recommend putting it in a case as well because after a while the heads do tend to go black and um, you don't want soot everywhere. Just a few things I should probably mention about the parabolic heater, which are really important. Although I am doing it at the moment, it's highly recommended that you do not use them indoors or use them inside your bivvy. If you are going to use them inside the bivvy, make sure you've got plenty of ventilation. You don't want no carbon dioxide poisoning going on. Big warning about touching the head as well after it's been on. It gets very hot very quickly. Don't touch the head. You will burn your hands and it will hurt. And also, last but not least, a bit of common sense really guys, don't leave it on while you're asleep. It's an accident waiting to happen. Get the bivvy to the temperature, which you're happy with, to go to sleep and turn it off. I finished my review today. I'm going to give this a solid four out of five. The only thing which make this five out of five for me is the fact if it had a little uh, clicking mechanism on it to have an instant start. I paid £25 for this parabolic heater and I think it's an absolute bargain. And I can't see myself going back to the Coleman stove anytime soon. Thank you very much for watching this review. If you want to see more of these reviews, please leave me some comments below. Let me know how they can improve. Please give the video a like. And also, if you want to follow my content and see more of my videos, which I do, either out on the bank fishing all these reviews please give me a subscribe thank you very much guys for taking the time to watch my review on the sun gas parabolic heater the reason we got this extra little snippet on the end is because the next time i tried starting up the parabolic heater i couldn't get it to ignite so i emailed the seller and i explained that every time i turned the dial to release the gas gas was going up through the head but when i put the lighter to it it was not igniting and starting as it should the seller was very good, they come straight back to me and um, they explained to me that maybe the jet inside had blocked. So what the jet is basically is you get your little dial well so you can control the output of how much gas goes through and right in the centre of that there, I'm just going to try and turn it to the camera because it's all back to front, that is the little jet. Now I've got the old culprit which is here in my hand, I'll see if I can show you. So that's just a little jet and it basically controls how much gas goes from the gas canister up into the main head of the parabolic heater. I changed them over, it's quite easy to do, just get, a, just get a pair of pliers or a little spanner. All right, and all you literally do, I'm, I'm not gonna do it on this one because I don't want to knacker the one I've got, but you just obviously put it around, grip it around like that. Then you just turn it anti-clockwise and it will unscrew. I put the replacement in, attached it all back up to the canister in the head, which I'll do now, and it fires up a lot better. There you go. So I'm going to see if I can try and set this up so you can see how much better this now goes. So I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let's try and move the screen down a little bit. Right, so I'm all set up and I'm ready to go. Hopefully, when I release a gas and I light it, it should just instantly catch and the centerpiece should go red within about 10 to 15 seconds, if that. Things which can go wrong is that the flame can come out from the inside and come at the top. If that is the case, you just need to take the head off and tighten up the jet. It just means the jet's too loose uh, and there's air getting through. So that's a simple little fix for that. Or if it's not lighting, again, your culprit is a little jet. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to release the gas. As you can see, it's hissing. There you go, guys. It's a light. Put it up. Let's see what happens. As you can see, that was not even 10 seconds. And it's gone red already. Look at that. Now, if you go back to my review, when I lit it, when I was doing it first time around, it didn't get that red that quickly. So I should have noticed really that there was something wrong with it then. But being new to it, I didn't. But look at that now, that's burning the good and that is. That's how it should be, guys. Burning nice bright red like that. And obviously, again, like I said, you can just control it. Bring it down. 
and have it on a nice controlled heat. And that's lovely and warm, nice and toasty. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was quite important. I didn't want you picking up a parabolic heater, not getting enough gas coming through, and you're wondering why it doesn't work. Um, worst case scenario, you could have sent it straight back to the seller for no reason when all you needed was another jet. So, um, yeah, if you have this issue, ask a seller for a replacement jet. It cost them 50p to send it through the post. It's saving you money than bloody sending this back through the post, which cost you six or seven quid. Anyway, guys, tight lines and all that. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.